This is the story of a boy and his dragon sword blade? Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the story of a boy and his magical keys. Oh man, so uh, he wants all the smoke. So Magic Key, Sky Blaster, Clevis. Each person is brimming with potential to go or to stop. It's closed or to open depends on yourself. There are many doors in this dazzling world. What opens them is a magical key. Two keys and one door, two wills and one form. If the door is opened, the world shall be connected and an enormous power shall reveal itself. That is actually really cool. I have a weird feeling that our friend here is about to be a Starlight Rare. But hey, he's a 1900-1900 on a normal monster. Hmm. All right. So Magic Key Bato Buster. You can ritual summon this card with the, with the card Magic Key Mafti. Interesting. So if this card is ritual summon... We can add any ritual key card from our deck to our hand. Hey, our ritual searches. Okay. Once per turn, uh, when an attack is declared involving this card, an opponent's monster with the same attribute as a normal monster or a magic key monster in our graveyard. So by the time we're doing this, we should have what? Dark and dark. Okay, sure. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, so for the same attribute, you can place any number of cards from your hand on the bottom of the deck, and if you do negate that a monster's, hmm, negate the opponent's monster's effect until the end of the turn, and then draw cards equal to the number of cards you placed. So we get a Cosmo Town filtering effect. Okay, sure. Uh, we'll, we'll go with that. It's kind of interesting. I honestly, I just hope that this stuff is generic accessible. Uh, because if this isn't going to be, like, super accessible or good. Uh, also, this is a tuner. What? His base form isn't even a tuner. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, Garcevet. Magic, magic Key Cannon. That's actually freaking wild. I hope this is a machine. Yeah, machine ritual effect, 2,200. You ritual summon this card with magic key, Mofti. All right, so same thing here. We're going to be using whatever that card is. Gains 300 attack for each monster attribute in your graveyard. So at least this is Earth, but we're dark, dark already, so that's interesting. When your opponent activates the effect of a monster with the same attribute as a monster in your graveyard, and you control this ritual summon card using monster with two or more attributes, quick effect, you negate that activation if you destroy that card. Okay, so more negates. All right. If this ritual summon card is sent to the graveyard, you add a magic key monster from your deck to your hand. I'm loving this floating, baby. All right. Huh, that's actually really cool. All right, Magic Key Summon Beast, and I see Bolas, 2200-2000. So one Magic Key monster plus one non-token monster. All right, so uh, we got our Super Poly target out of the way here. Well, that's good. Uh, this card is Fusion Summoned. You can add a Magic Key Moff T from your graveyard to your hand. So whatever that card is that we're going to be using, we get Recursion on it again. Once per turn, you can target one attack position monster of the opponents with the same attribute as a normal monster or a magic key monster in your graveyard. Uh, change it to defense position. If you do, it loses 1,000 defense. And banish any monster destroyed by battle with this card. Once again, dark, man. Like, hmm. Next up, we have wind. Ooh. Uh, magic key effect monster plus one non-token. They're going to give this deck a link one, and I'm going to cry. All right, so when fusion summoned, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects. That's pretty good. Uh, once per turn, you can target one normal monster or magic key monster you ever destroy all monsters your opponent controls with the same attribute. Okay. Once per turn, if your opponent's monster or monsters with the same attribute as a monster in your graveyard is destroyed by a battle card effect, and you control this fusion summon card using monsters with two or more at or material, you can draw a card. I'm really hoping that whatever restrictions we're getting on this is going to be good. I'm also having flashbacks here to, uh, anybody feel like this is Sun Avalon, like, two? All right. So, Magic Key Mofti. Fusion summon one Magic Key Fusion Monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material 
or ritual summon one magic key monster from your hand by tributing monsters from your hand or field whose total level exceed the level of the ritual or equal it, okay? If you control a normal monster, you can send one normal monster from your deck to the graveyard as fusion material or as monsters required for the ritual summon. So our ritual card is going to allow us to extend on out further here, which is good, but um, you're gonna have to control a normal monster for that. We only have one, all right? I'm sad right now, man. Like, there was... Ugh. Magic Key Unsealing. You can activate one card with this card's name per turn. You know, use the third effect this card's name once per turn. When this card resolves, you can add one Magic Key Monster from your deck to your hand. I will say this, though. The pure amount of floating that this bad boy has going for it right now is absurd. Uh, the first time each normal monster control will be destroyed by battle or card effect each turn, except tokens... It is not. Once again, we gotta protect the, the little guy. During your main phase, you can add one Magic Key Moff T from your deck to your hand and then place one card from your uh, hand on the bottom of the deck. So, so this will search for a normal monster and then we can place a card from, that we could search and then we return one to the bottom. So we do get, they did this good. All right, we get access to our searching. All right, man. This is how you make an archetype, all right? Like, granted, like, this doesn't seem very good, but at least every card searches, every card floats. You'll be able to get access to everything. It, it, it's not really super archetype restrictive. I mean, it is, but it isn't. All right. Connected Magic Key. Target one normal monster or Magic Key monster, give it, add it to your hand. And then you can apply one of these effects. So we can fusion summon a magic key monster from the extra deck of defense position using monsters from our hand or field this fusion material. Or we can ritual summon one magic key monster from our hand in defense position by attributing monsters from our hand or field whose total level equal or exceed the ritual monster. I must still be honest with you, you're still going to have to draw those bricks. And already drawing those bricks is going to make me cry every single time. All right, and the last thing we got here, Magic Key Lock Unlock. It is a counter trap card. All right, well, you only activate one card with this card's name per turn. When your opponent activates a spell or trap, while you control a Magic Key Ritual Monster or a Magic Key Monster Special Summon from the Extra Deck, negate that activation, and if you do, destroy that card. Then you can declare one attribute, and if you do, all face up monster your opponent currently controls become the declared attribute until the end of the turn. Interesting that they put the modification uh, for attribute on a counter trap card. Um, that feels a little bit counterintuitive for what we you would want on a separate card, I would think. Um, which, okay, I, I guess is interesting. And it also only negates spells and traps. All right, this is the uh, the last stand uh, beautiful issue that we have. So looking at all of this, I will say this. Um, I think, well, first up, our, in, our, our main character here literally feels like he's, he's in an isekai. He's got like his little dragon sword here. There's a little dragon weapon, and his little dragon weapon here is going to be the thing that's going to allow you to do the fusion summons. It's basically his comrade for his journey. Uh, I am liking the uh, story that is being put together with this so far, and I do hope that going forward, this deck definitely feels like we're going to need more. I, and I really do hope that we do get more in terms of a possible Link one, because as I said earlier in the video, this feels like Sun Avalon at the end of the day. You know, Sun Avalon all rotates around the axis of that level one normal seed monster, and I'm getting the exact same vibes from here, and Sun Avalon has that much needed Link one, giving them the ability to function. So going forward, there is potential here, all right? I'm not gonna completely blow that out. I think that this is going to be mainly a fun archetype, though, and, you know, more fun stuff is always really welcome. The amount of searching here is absolutely ridiculous, all right? So, good job on this one, Konami. I'm very excited for this. So, guys, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more excellent news, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on in the day for, well, Market Watch. All right, guys, have a good one.
Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out VanQuil40 for all of your Card Fight Vanguard content brought to you by MQuil40. And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out MQuilGames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.